Hey there, my name's Anna and I'm with Shay Nunez. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to take artwork that you illustrated in Procreate and turn it into a vector graphic in Adobe Illustrator. With an illustration like this, I would typically start with a pencil sketch in a separate layer, and then I would go over the pencil sketch in the technical pen brush in Procreate. From there, I would just make sure to get rid of the pencil sketch from underneath get rid of the background color so that it is a transparent file. Then I would go over to the share button and export this illustration as a PNG file. Then I would just airdrop and remember that I made Siri call me your Royal Highness back when I was 16. And then we can hop over to the Mac. Go into this nice little folder to collect my artwork that I transferred over from Procreate, my transparent PNG, file and just drag and drop it right into Illustrator. So the objective here is to take this artwork and turn it into this wallpaper that I can then share through my email newsletter. The way I will convert this into that is by going up here to the image trace button and you can use like a pre-made setting or you can just hit image trace. But the tricky thing about this is that it won't necessarily give you all the detail that you need. So then you can pull up the image trace window and then tweak it around a bunch. So I normally like to keep my paths really high, my path setting really high, my corners low, my noise really low. There you go. And that will bring back some of the detail that you want to keep in your illustration. Yeah, so that looks about how I want it. The cool thing with this is that if you want to ignore the white spaces, you can by clicking that little button, or you can leave them if you want to color in your illustration, which I normally do. So then you'll just hit expand and it will turn your artwork into a vector. Ta-da! You can delete the background, go in here and delete these little spaces in between your illustration. There you go. So that would be, whoops, that would be my starting place. We're getting closer there. Then I just select these spaces and use my eyedropper tool to start coloring them in. If you would like to download this wallpaper for your iPhone, I'll put a little link in the description. And one more little trick that you can do to make sure that these lines show up a little thicker is just by selecting this color and then bringing them all to the foreground. It's a really subtle thing, but now the lines look a little bit more even. There are a lot of different ways that you could go about wanting to achieve the look that you're hoping to get in the process of converting your artwork into a vector, but this is just the method that I've been using for my work over the years. And so I wanted to um, go behind the curtains and show you how I do it. This is pretty much the process. Hope this is helpful. If you want this background that I've created for your phone, I'll put the link in the description. Of course, all of the things. There are many different ways that you can go about converting your artwork into a vector graphic to achieve the look that you're hoping for. This is the process that I've been using for the past five or so years with my designs and it served me well. I hope that this was helpful. I'm now gonna perform a cover of Teardrops on My Guitar by Taylor Swift. Just kidding. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're new around here, but we plan to create weekly videos that hopefully help in your creative process and your design process. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. We'll do our best to get back to you and we will see you next time. <laughs>